1994, I was living in Aspen, Colorado. I was separated from my husband, Andreas. Alex was two, and James was six. James and I went skiing together. He wanted to have hot chocolate at the Little Nell. We sat in front of the fireplace. There was a man sitting by the fireplace, and he looked harmless. That was Leonard. So I put James next to him. Leonard started playing tic-tac-toe with him on a napkin. He asked James, could you and your mother meet me the next day? And James said, Mom, we're having a ski date with him. And so that's how I met him. He won me over. He immediately said, are you going to divorce your husband? I said, yes, let me talk to my lawyers. Leonard said, we need to get you to California. So I had to leave my house and my job, and he started speeding my separation into a divorce. I met him November 94. By November 95, we were married. Leonard is known for the leverage buyout. He thought years ago that if people could put 15% down and buy a house, why can't they put 15% down and buy a company? I was a good advocate for Leonard. I was just um, a people person, and I would hear for months that there was problems, that they couldn't get this company, and then I'd take them out for dinner, and it was done. But Leonard basically let lawyers run his life. You know, I always say a, a lawyer is, is as good as you are. But if you're not good, if you're, if you're open and weak and vulnerable, then they will run you. And that's precisely what was happening. They were asking for a post-nuptial agreement because I never signed, never, nor was I ever asked to sign a prenup. It was just causing tension. And then divorce proceedings started. There was a myriad of lawyers because every lawyer that I interviewed told me that Pelicano was closely associated with the lawyers that Leonard was hiring. They all say the same thing to you. Oh, so you are going to be wiretapped all the time by Anthony Pelicano. Mm -hmm. 